could you still stream on Trovo? This is the question I've asked myself multiple times in the last few months. If you're here, I'm sure you've asked yourself the same question or you just want to know more about Trovo. I'm Ogo Zed, tech enthusiast, online creator, gamer. Without wasting any more time, let's have a look at what makes Trovo great, what's not so great about this platform, and I'll give you a bit of an opinion at the end of the video. Let's do this. Alrighty, guys, let's have a look at what makes Trovo great. This is my account, or should I say space, on Trovo. You don't have accounts, you have space. And every space has got rooms. As you can see on the left hand inside, you have multiple choices. The first one at the top is always your live stream that has your panels. I haven't been here in a while and <laughs> you can tell. Uh, but you can add panels much like Twitch. So for example, you can add one with your links. You got another one that is as a bit of an intro. And then you can add another one with your favorite games or just image, text, spell album if you have custom spells. We'll talk about monetization towards the end of the video. And when you're done, you just save it, close, and all of them will appear at the bottom of your space. Now, you have another tab for offline watching with your stream and your clips. Then you have chat. I named it chat rooms. But if you click on the three dots here, you can change the room. You can give it a name. This is only a chat like text and images room. You can see send messages, embed video links, embed other links. You can even give it a category. You can add the category. So for example, we go live. We create the category, save. As you can see, we've got a new category with our chat room and you have voice room, which are available on mobile. So you can use basically your mobile as a way to communicate with your viewers or with other teammates. Much, much like Discord. So this update that came about two years ago was designed to replace both the stream platform. So in this case, big bad guy Twitch and Discord at the same time because these rooms are available offline and online, but there are no video ads at all. At all, much like another platform. So you may have from time to time banners that will have some ads, but other than that, the viewer experience is not interrupted and bothered by ads. And also when it comes to monetization, you have a split of 50-50 for your subscriptions, which is, which now after the last Twitch update is not as great anymore. You can earn via Elixir, which is basically like bits on Twitch. And also, you have a creator program, which is called Trovo 500. So if your streams are watched for a certain amount of hours or more, you get paid by the platform. With that said, Key Creator Program is a lot more advanced and it gives you more possibilities. But it's still better than nothing. And also, as I mentioned, there is Elixir. Elixir can be made of spells like this. So stuff that appears in chat, uh, stuff that appears on stream. 
which is a fun way to support creators. If you learn anything in this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell. Let's keep going with the video now. Okay, now for the bed, let's start with a subscription that you can get, and that's both for viewers and creators, but it's mostly aimed at creators because the higher, higher you, the more stuff you unlock for your stream. So let's have a look. It's called Trouble Ace, and it starts at 499 elixir which so 100 elixir is about a dollar 34 australian and 500 elixirs is five dollars 83 so 500 is already about five bucks and then as you can see you got the up icon you got extra mana mana is like china points same as twitch and then you can upload 10 emotes you got the badge then you got adventure 2 another 1000 so another 10 dollars and you go up then adventure 3 and then it goes to knights you got three levels in knights you got duke king and emperor emperor is 200,000 elixir so 200,000 dollars a month basically and yes of course it gives you you know your own entrance with the with the rides in your garage and you can upload a hundred emotes you got ac modes which are giphy modes you got more up icons you got an animated avatar extra top up reward so you get two percent more elixir and also it's not even finished yet you get three levels of emperor which is eight hundred thousand dollars a month like who is this for like what's the point of having a subscription system for streamers let's not look at the emperor let's go to king upload 40 mites that's king one so for all the king is upload 40 emotes when you go to duke it's 30 emotes like most creators they yes they have fun live streaming but if they have to pay to access features on the platform why are they on the platform in the first place it just doesn't make sense. It's like you're putting yourself in competition with creators, but at the same time, you're profiting, you're exploiting creators. That's one. I'm not done yet. <laughs> there is a few other things they want to talk about. And if this is not enough, look at these games. And if that's not enough, you got a game center as well with different games which overlay the stream and they get you to spend money because 99 elixir it's not much it's still 99 cents but a dollar but that's how it starts three dollars to unlock the so it's not enough to exploit streamers and viewers with subscription to unlock in-platform stuff but you also have games that to advance you need to pay real money yes of course uh, some of it you can play for free but there you go that's one more that's one more and also as you can see it's top of the live stream so it takes the focus away from the live stream itself so why would someone watch the stream where you know it's playing games so this is designed to profit of a platform 
that is was supposed to take over Twitch and is nowhere near it at the moment. Sorry, <laughs> I've already had my own opinion, but that's what this video is about. Is seeing the good and the bad. Okay, so my personal opinion is I think in 2024, as of now, is not worth it to live stream on Trovo for two simple reasons. First one, you are always in competition with the platform for viewer support because the fact that there are games that overlay the stream that you can spend real money on and subscriptions like this that are designed to exploit streamers is not a good look Trovo hey it's not a good look Trovo was supposed to take over Twitch the big bad guy after four years not only is nowhere near it is losing viewers kick is a much younger platform and is already four times the size at least don't believe me i'll show you now let's have a look at the rest of the platforms here you go those are the live numbers 7.56 millions viewers now 3.37 million on Twitch, 605,000 on Kick, Trovo, 9,000. Nemo TV, have you heard of Nemo TV? It's not one of the biggest ones. It's got 185,000 now. Africa TV, 108. This is the, it's got 20,000. Rumble has got 79,000. Trouble 9000. So, guys, no, no, I'm gonna end the video like this. I'm gonna end the video like this, guys. Trovo, not anymore. Just stick with the big platforms YouTube, Twitch, and Kick, and you'll be golden. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video next or this video next. I keep forgetting which side it is. Until next week, happy creating. Puddle mates.